Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, Tuesday Circuits. Um, I hope you've all recovered from yesterday's hit step. Uh, that was a bit of a brutal start to the week. Even after having four days off, that was tough, really tough. Um, so I hope you're all well um, and you are ready for circuits. Um, the workout has been posted or was posted on the group yesterday, so you should have an idea of what's in store, but I will go through the exercises for you um, so you can familiarize yourself with what we're gonna be doing. Um, if you have weights, brilliant. If you don't, do not panic because this workout can be done without any weights whatsoever. Um, or if you've still got your milk cartons or I don't know, whatever you've got around the house you can use for weights, please grab them. Um, I've got an exercise mat down, but you don't necessarily need an exercise mat. That is purely just for the core exercises where you're gonna be laying down or sitting down. Um, but again, obviously I've, I've got it because I can use it. So uh, there's 15 exercises over two rounds, uh, 45 seconds work in round one with a 20 second rest. And then in round two, we have a minute rest at the end of the round. And then in round two, you do it for 35 seconds with only a 10 second rest, okay? so. It's not going to be high intensity like it was yesterday. A lot of this is going to be slow and controlled with the weights, with the reps. Again, if you haven't got any weights, you can go a little bit quicker. So do what you can do with the weights you've got, okay? Um, about three or four exercises in there are going to be obviously uh, cardio based, but majority of them are all going to be uh, for upper body and lower body with the weights, all right? So let's do a warm up. Let's get ourselves all ready and we will start. So the, the timer is down here, by the way, guys. Stick with it, don't stop at three, try and get to one as best you can. Okay, let's do this. So, wrist rolls first, let's go. Uh, let's start singing. Right, arms out in front, stretch them out, lean forward. It's a 27 minute workout if you're wondering what alloy is. Arms behind, shoulder base together, chest up. Good morning, Claire. Morning, Janice, how we doing? Okay, from there, let's do those arm circles. Let's go. Big arm circles, go out one way. Fantastic, let's bring them back in the other way. Keep it going, late to the party. <laughs> okay, from there, we're down for the wood chops. Feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna squat down, head and arms over one shoulder, and we're up to the other side. Let's get that body awake now, come on. Let's move. One more. And then switch, let's go. Let's go, deep squat and rotate. Three, four, last one, and five. Keep those feet shoulder width apart, we're just gonna start squatting. Now with a squat, guys, we want your head up, we want your chest up. We wanna keep your heels on the floor, and we wanna keep your elbows off your knees. Too much to think about. So a nice, deep squat. Now from here, we're gonna leave the floor, we're gonna do some jumping squats. Now if you can't leave the floor, we're going to tiptoes. Are you ready? Three. Two, one, let's go. So don't have to go high, just a little softly jump. If you can't jump, again, deep squat, tiptoes. Keep it going. Five more seconds, then we're going into lunges. Three, two, one, into that lunge. So alternate your lunges now. Nice and deep. Keep your head and chest up. Good, guys, keep this going. So now when we do these lunges, we're going to stick our arms above our head when we go down for the lunge. So virtually now, guys, we're all going to be doing a Mexican wave. <laughs> Let's go. So lunge down, head and chest up. Three more from now. So one, two, that's one, three. Good stuff. Okay, down for that side lunge. All your weight onto one side. Great stuff. Sweet sides. Try and push your body weight over to one side. Keep the other leg nice and straight. So, keep those legs wide. Slight bend in the knee. Rotate through the shoulders. Let's go. Opposite toe. Let's go. Come on. Keep this going. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good stuff. Right, I want your feet together now. You're going to crouch down into a ball. Hands on your opposite knee. And then you pull back on your shoulder blades when you come up. So, crouch down. Pull back, I'll show you sideways. So really pull back on those shoulder blades. Get your chest up. Okay, three from now. One, head and chest up. Two, and three, fantastic stuff. Right, let's start walking up and down on our toes. Really stretch out those calves, go nice and high. 
Then switch it to your heels. Good stuff, standing in one position. We go on tiptoes and heels. Let's get rocking. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Don't forget those hips. Hip rotation, knee up, out to the side. Three outwards. Bring it back in. Three inwards. Awesome stuff. Same the other side. Up and out. From here, guys, when we've done these, we're gonna do five walkout press-ups. Okay, so you're gonna be standing. Stand up nice and tall, walk it out, chest to the floor, stand back up. If you can't do a full press-up, you drop to your knees. We're warming up our chest, and obviously our legs. That's two. Five in total. That's three. Stand nice and tall. Down for number four. We do one more. Woo, last one. Oh, yes guys, right, we are warmed up, we are ready to go. Okay, 15 exercises, gonna rattle through these really quickly. Gonna pick up the smallest weights required. Okay, so, number one jumping squats. We've done that in the warm up. If you wanna use the weights for this one, you can do deep squat and jump. Obviously, guys who haven't got the weights, I'm gonna do it without the weights, purely because it's a long 45 seconds jumping squat. Then you've got your reverse crunch scoop. So, you're in the reverse crunch position. This is where you need your weight. Okay, so you lean back, you do two, one, two, knees into your chest, legs are still up, scoop one arm, scoop the other. So you do two reverse crunches leaning back with your weights on your hand, one arm up, then the other arm. If it's too difficult, put your legs down and just scoop. All right, from there, you're into a renegade row. This is where you go into your front, again with your weights if you've got it, down for your press up, and then you row. So your elbow goes high, back down, reverse, using the rear delts in the back of your shoulders. If you can't do a full press up, drop to your knees, down, and then row, okay? Again, you can do that without weights. From there, you've got weighted sit up, pretty straightforward. All right, so I'll have your weighted sit up, I'll show you as and when. Power lunges, now this is one where you need core stability, because your, your starting position is there. Okay, your leg is in the air. You have your weights in your hand. You go down into a lunge, and you come back up. Okay, down into a lunge, you come back up. Now you switch your legs. So you do two on one leg, bring the other leg up. Balance is key. And power it into the lunge, stand nice and tall, get your balance before you power into that lunge once more. If you find that difficult, just do a normal lunge, okay? If you find it difficult, keep your foot on the floor, just don't have it as high, because obviously my leg's gonna be up here. If you find it difficult, just have your foot there and come down lightly and softly, okay? That's your power lunge. Russian twist, again, core exercise. Then you've got your steering wheel rotation, no. Now, this is where you grab a weight, one weight, doesn't matter what weight it is, arms are locked out, okay? Steering wheel, so you're gonna lock it, fully lock it out one way. Back into the center. You fully lock it out the other way. This works your front delt. So you've got to keep it high. You've got to rotate it fully one way. Rotate it. I don't want to see people driving like that. Okay, slow and controlled with that one. Elbow to hand plank, another core exercise. Overhead press, which is exercise number nine. Pretty straightforward. You just overhead press in, both hands up at the same time. Number 10 is toe touches. If you notice, every other exercise is a core exercise. Number 10 is the toe touches, so you go across, uh, you're laying down, opposite hands are opposite foot. Then you've got a chest press. Now with the chest press, you're laying on the floor. I'll show you, heavier weight if possible. Shoulder blades back, chest up, and you're literally going up to the ceiling. Elbows touch the floor, and you're going up to the ceiling for your chest press. Then you've got plank rotations. So you're in plank position. You've got a weight in your hand, if you've got one. Hand and um, sorry, head follows your hand all the way to the ceiling and your arm, and then you switch sides. Again, whether you want to use the weights or without, it's completely up to you. Squat punches, you guys are in your deep squat and you're punching. Okay, again, with or without weights, up to you. V sit freeze, and then you've got your sprints. Really, really quickly overview of what we're doing, but as we're doing the exercises, I'll talk you through techniques and how to do each one. So, everybody up, if you're not up already, if you haven't had to sit down. So whether you want weights or not, we're doing jumping squats for 45 seconds. Stick to the clock. I need a drink. And we're off. Two rounds of this. 
Are you ready? Right, let's do it. Three, two, one, let's go. Straight into jumping squats. If you can't jump, just do a squat and then go tiptoes. Head and chest stay up, come on. Let's go. Doesn't have to be a big jump. Just get your heart rate up. Come on, let's do it. So really weight the heels, power it on the way up. Head and chest up for 45. Let's get the heart rate up. Let's go, come on. Let's do this. Come on, keep it working. Now don't stop yet. If you find it gets tough, then go to tiptoes. Come on, let's rep it out. Burn the legs. Oh. Let's keep it going. Keep going, last second. Oh. Wow, right, 20 seconds rest. Now you're into reverse crunch scoop. So pick your weight, whatever weight you want. I'm getting the fours. So reverse crunch into that scoop. Oh. So remember, you go two, and you bring one up at a time, ready? So one, two, leave your legs up, arm up, arm up, back into the reverse crunch. One, two, one arm up at a time. Keep that core tight, balance is key. Two, arm up. Uh, hard it looks this one, lean back a little bit. Tough, arm up, and the other side. Come on, keep with this. Come on, push through. Keep your legs up if you can. Oh, I really got my legs up, did. Right, from there you're into a renegade row. Now, if you guys don't want to do the press up, you just hold out a plank and bring the elbows high. People who want to do the advanced version, press up, then your arm comes up. Gotta come back a bit to this one. So press up position, or plank position, press up, row, press up, row. Now if you don't want to do the press up, stay in the plank and just lift your elbow high. You don't have to do the press up. Come on. Let's go. Really get elbow high, come on. Let's go. Oh. Come on, get that elbow nice and high. Arm goes into your chest. No, hand goes into your chest. Come on. Get that rotation, come on. Oh, wow. Right, from here guys, you're into your weighted sit-ups. Get a heavier weight if you can. I'm going for eight. Try and stick your feet under a chair, under your sofa. Keep the weight against your chest. Shoulder blades on, your, on the mat. And you come up looking forward. Let's go. So try and keep your heels on the floor. You sit up, keep that weight on your chest. So imagine now, guys, you've got a line coming up from your belly button. Trying to push you up. Keep that head up, keep looking forward. When you come up, oh, shoulder blades off the mat. Uh, squeeze at the top. Back down, back up, come on. Let's go. Uh, uh, keep that weight on your chest. Drive up through that core. Come on. Uh, oh, this is tough. Come on. Wow. Right, into those power lunges. So remember what I said? If you can, don't need weight for this if you don't want it. One knee up, you go nice and powerful into that lunge. If you can't go as high, just have your foot a little bit lower. Two on one leg, two on the other. So, not Mr. Miyagi. So really lunge forward, get your balance, high, head and chest up, switch sides. So high, bang. Down, get that leg up. Oh, really deep lunge, head and chest up. Oh, it's harder with weights, trust me. Oh, balance. So hold it up, really power it down. And again. Oh, come on. Two on each side. Head and chest up, get that knee up high if you can. Core tight. Oh, 
Let's go. And again. Try and get that back knee as close as you can to the floor. Last one. Okay, you're on the floor for Russian twist. Grab your weight. Oh my days. So Russian twist, with or without weight, it's up to you. Legs one way, weight the other. You find it hard, feet on the floor, you still rotate. Oh, lean back a little bit, let's go. So feet go one way, you go the other, rotate. Lean back, and breathe. Find it hard, put your feet on the floor, get the rotation in, come on. Slight bend in your knee, head and chest up. Oh, I've gone too heavy. Oh, come on, keep going. Push through, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, it's getting heavy, it's getting hard. Oh, that was way too heavy for me, that one. Okay, into your steering wheel rotations. Try and pick a heavier weight this time, because your arm's gonna be, this is, go for forwards. Arm's gonna be locked out. You're gonna rotate one way, and then rotate the other. Oh man, right, you ready? Keep your arms locked out. Let's go, rotate. Hold it, back into the center. Rotate, slow it down, fully rotate. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, Three, so slow, control, keep those arms locked out. <sighs> Try and push yourself, test yourself every rep. <sighs> Try and get to that RPE, remember? Seven or eight, is it too easy? Switch it, come on. <sighs> Likewise, if it's too hard, drop the weight. You can do this without any weight at all. <sighs> come on, rock it out, let's go. <sighs> Oh, really feel that in the front delts. Right, elbow to hand plank time. No weight required at all with this. So, you're in a plank position. You drop to your elbows. Then you drop back up to your hands. Again, alternate your elbow to hand every time. I'll do it this way, you see me better. So, elbow to hand plank. Let's go, elbows, hands. Alternate every time. Let's go. Come on, alternate sides. Remember which side you did. Keep that core tight, weight forward. Oh, come on, this is tough. If you find it too tough, just hold out a plank. Okay, easy version, hold out a plank if it's too tough. Everybody else keep going, come on. Oh. Oh, core tight, let's go. Oh, oh, wow. Right, from there, overhead press. So we stand up tall, weight in your hand, we press over our heads. I'm sweating. Right, five something for this one. So stand nice and tall, both above your head. Bring it back down, are you ready? Core tight, let's go, both at the same time. Sideways looks like this, guys. Head and chest stay up. Oh, it's too heavy for me. I'm gonna wean it today, dropping down the fours. Do you feel this in the top of your traps? Don't know where your traps are? You're in your neck, in the top of your shoulders. Oh, come on, come on. Shoulders are my weakest. Let's go. Keep it going, come on. All the way to the top. Oh, come on. My shoulder's giving up on me today. Come on. Oh, that was tough. Okay, back foot in the core exercise. Lay on the floor, toe touches. So, left hand to right foot, like this. Hands above your head with the weight. Left hand to right foot, right hand to left foot. And keep going. You wanna lift your head up off the mat, you can do, and your shoulders. Be careful your neck though. Let's go up, so meet it in the middle. Bring those shoulders off the mat. Look forward, so look towards your toes. Always look up. 
Let's go. Cross that body. Oh, man. Really tough. Breathe out the top. Come on. Let's go. Good. Keep this going, guys. Again, you can do this without weight. Exactly the same. With weight. Just makes it more intense. Oh, last one. Oh. Yeah. Okay, lay on the floor. Since you're on the floor, you can stay there. We're into chest press. So we did chest presses, guys. We lay on the floor. Elbows touch the floor. You gotta have your chest up, feet flat on the floor, driving the weights up to the ceiling. Are you ready? Let's go. So elbows down, touch the floor, drive up. Keep that chest up, retract your uh, scapula, so basically shoulder blades together on the mat. Let's go, try to set the weights touch at the top. Again, you can do this without weight. Make sure the weights go across your chest. It's a chest exercise. Really good. Bend those elbows, let them touch the floor, bring them up to the top, let's go. Really squeeze the dumbbells at the top of the movement. Get the added contraction. Let's go. Keep working hard, guys, come on. Oh my God, that was so tough. Right, into your plank rotations. So choose your weight, you don't need a heavy weight. In fact, you don't need any weight at all if you don't want to. So plank position, on your hands, rotate fully up to the ceiling and then you switch sides. Right, plank position, are you ready? So, rotate all the way up, open up your body. Okay, back down, switch your weight. Really open it up, so your head follows your arm all the way to the ceiling. Really open up your body, keep that core tight. Choose a weight which is comfortable, guys. Really open up your body. Oh, come on, it's tough. I'm on the four kilograms, it's still challenging to hold a plank and rotate. Keep that core tight, keep your weight forward, bums down. Remember, you're still doing a plank. Oh, come on. Oh, my days. Okay, squat punch time. You don't want heavy weights for this one, if any at all. So if you're doing it with weight, you stay in that squat position and we're punching. Oh, fours, this might be too heavy. We'll see, so, squat position. So you're staying in that seated squat. So sit, squat, and punch, that's too heavy. I'll do it without. So, sideways on guys, you're in, you're locked in. You gotta be low, and you're punching. Doesn't matter how fast, let's get the punches in. It's probably better without weights for this one. If you find it hurts your legs, stand up, still punch. When you feel ready, get back down again, come on. Head up, chest up, come on. Get in, get low, feel it on your quads. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Power through the shoulders. Oh, it's hurting my legs. Ah, come on. Ah. Come on, sit in, let's do it. Let's go, let's go. Oh, that was tough. All right, two to go. V-sit freeze is your next one. All I want you guys to do is sit in. A V position, and you've got to hold it. Simple as that, lean back, legs out straight, find it hard, bring your legs in. If you find it even harder, put your legs down. Right, sit in, legs straight, lean back, arms out in front. You might start to find it hurts your legs more than anything. So slight bend your knees, deep breath, come on. You'll feel it in your lower back, it's good, it's all part of your core. Hold this out, guys, come on. Deep breath. Zone out. Doing well, guys, come on, hold it. Oh, man, right, your last one. It's gonna be a flat out sprint. 
So literally, let's finish the round off in style. We're up, we're sprinting, and then we are done for round one. I'm gonna do it all again. Oh my God. Right, are you guys ready? Right, here we go. Flat out sprint, knees up, let's go. Come on, let's get that heart rate up, let's do it, come on. Let's go, let's go. If you can't do sprints, do jumping jacks. Okay, do one or the other, anything to get your heart rate up. If you can't do sprints, okay, do jacks. Up to you. Whichever one you do, don't stop. Come on, I want your heart rate up now, finish the round off. Come on. Sprints or jacks. Let's go. Come on, finish off. Keep pumping the arms, let's go. Come on. Oh, wow, right. On the timer, if you can see, we've got a minute rest. Use it wisely, grab a drink, wipe yourself down, and we go again. We're halfway through. Oh, this time, 35 seconds work and only 10 seconds rest. So you have to be quick in your transitions between each round. Oh my God, right. Jumping squats is your first one. How are we doing guys, we're feeling good? Morning everybody. So, if you've got weights and you find it hard, drop them, okay? There's some exercises I did there without weights at all. Okay, just do what you can do. 15 seconds left. Same again, right, we start off with jumping squats. 10 seconds, ready? Let's do this. Okay, five seconds there, four, three, two, and one. We're back into those jumping squats, let's do it, come on. High and low, head and chest up. 10 seconds left, less on the workout and in the rest. Push it now, final time, we're doing all these exercises. Come on, let's work now. Jump, land soft. Oh. Head up, chest up, keep looking forward. Oh. Push through, let's go. Oh. Okay, only 10 seconds, into that reverse crunch scoop. So reverse crunch, two crunches, and then we scoop. God, I'm tired now. So, two, one, two, keep your legs up, one, two, let's go, one, two, scoop, keep your legs up, keep them straight, one, two, lean back in that reverse crunch, feel it in your abs, uh, two, come on, one, uh, two, oh man, arms locked out straight, scoop it up, let's go, Oh, come on. Oh, my days. Right, into your renegade row. So this is the one where you do a press up and then bring the weight up. Oh, right. If you don't want to do a press up, you don't have to. Like press up, row. Oh, press. Come on. Oh. Remember, you can always take out the press up. And just do a row, guys. Just do that if you can't do a press up, okay? Just one side, back down. And then the other. Oh, come on. Okay. Weighted sit ups. Grab your weight. Sit with the fours. Feet under the chair or mat. And we sit up. Keep that weight on your chest. Concentrate your breathing now. Let's go. Head and chest up. Come on. Push through. Let's go. Remember, you don't need weights. All these exercises can be done without. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Right, what's next? Power lunges. Up for those power lunges. Got wrecked today. Right, knee up, 
Inhale, nice and deep. Get that knee as close as you can to the floor. Head and chest up. Two on one leg, remember. Switch it. Head up, chest up, weight. Get that weight. Stabilize yourself before you lunge in, okay? Oh, God. Oh. And again. Knee up, power down, come on. Oh. Oh, right, that's one. Oh. Okay, on the floor for your Russian twist. Oh. Okay, leg one way, you go the other. Right, let's go. Weight one way, you the other. Keep them together, slight bend in your knee. Really rotate round, come on. Come on, keep it going guys. Remember if it's tough, put your feet down, still rotate round, okay? Bend the knees, up to your chest. That was too hard. Right, steering wheel rotation. So everybody stand up, arms locked out. In front, are ready? Three count, one, two, three. One, two, three, really rotate. Okay, slow and controlled. Arms locked out, look. That's what I'm doing. Out in front, don't let them drop. Keep your arms above your chest. The weight's too much, drop it. If, you don't have, if you've got no weight at all, just keep your arms out in the front and just bounce them like that, okay? All you gotta do is bounce your arms up and down in front. Let's go. That's one. Right. Elbow to hand plank. So hand to elbow or elbow to hand, it's up to you. Alternate between the sides. Let's go. Elbow hand. Don't forget to change sides every time. Weight must be forward. Concentrate on that core rather than your hands to elbow. Oh. Keep working, come on. You're doing great, guys. Push through. Come on. Tough, tough, tough. Come on. Keep going. Right, up for your overhead press. Man alive, right. It's back to my fours. These are my trusted ones today. Okay, let's go. Oh, head and chest up. Focus on the top of your shoulders. This is exercise number nine. We have five to go. Come on, head and chest up. Come on. Oh, this is really tough. Come on, let's go. We're really hitting eights and nines on my RPE today. This is really horrible. Okay, on the floor for your toe touches. So your hands are opposite foot, with or without weight, it's up to you. Oh. So here we go, hands above your head, opposite sides, left to right, right to left. Let's go. So try and look up to your foot. Bring that head off the mat if you can, engage that core. Oh. Push it through, let's go. Come on, come on. Keep going. Oh, man, that was horrible. All right, into your chest press. Have a lay down. Grab your heavy weight if you've got them. If not, don't worry. Oh, lay down. Elbows touch the floor. Drive them up to the ceiling. Engage that chest. Get those shoulder blades back. Get that chest up. Right, rep out, let's go. Oh, God. Cross your chest. Squeeze at the top. Let's go. Keep going, guys, doing great.
Oh, wowie. Okay, we've got three, four left. Plank rotations is your next one. So back onto your front. Oh, rotate up to the ceiling. Are we ready? Let's go all the way up. Swap sides. All the way up. Open your body. Weight forward. Let's go. Oh, God. Come on. Keep it going, guys. We're near the finish. Push through. Come on. Oh. Open it up every time. Oh, oh God. Okay. In those squat punches. So oh, we're squatting and then we're punching out. Oh. Right, let's go. Sit in and we punch. Come on, head and chest up. We've got two left. Arms. Oh, not my legs, it's my arms. Arms are gone. Head up, chest up. Keep looking forward. Come on. Oh. Come on. Stay low. Come on, get low. Come on, nearly there. Oh. Okay, two to go. V sit freeze is next. So sit into that V position. Oh. Are you ready? V sit freeze. Let's go. Hold it. Lean back. Legs straight. And breathe. Relax. Engage that core. Oh, God. Hold it out. Come on. Find it hard. Put your legs down. Oh, God. Oh. Right, guys. We finish off with either a flat out sprint or jumping jacks. For 35 seconds, let's finish this. Right, sprint, I'm gonna go jacks for this one. Let's jacks it, come on, 35. Jacks or sprints, whatever you wanna do. Go on. Finish it now. Go on, let's go. Nearly there, come on, push to the finish. so difficult. Well done guys. Mm. Oh, that was tough today, really was. Got my weights all over the floor. Sign of a good workout. Well done. How are we finding it guys? How are we? It shouldn't have been that difficult because we didn't really get our heart rates up that much. But obviously we were doing a lot of strength work, which fatigues you, but well, fatigued me anyway. A lot of those exercises had to lower the weight or do without. So, oh, hope you enjoyed it guys. Hope you got your heart rates up. 353 calories, not bad. Well done. So glad I had my heating on. Bad move that, same as me, bad move. So high fives guys, fist pumps. Awesome workout again, as always. Well done, every single one of you. For doing these workouts in between Christmas and New Year, get yourself a little bit of a head start. That's awesome, mate. Absolutely awesome. Oh, well done. Okay, give yourself a pat on the back. And as always, I bow down and take my sweaty, sweaty? My sweaty head off to every one of you. Well done, love that. Awesome, well done, Sue, well done, Claire. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Don't forget to take your pictures and your videos. Okay, before we do a cool down, I don't know if you guys are aware, but I uh, am doing a six week transformation challenge for you guys who really, really wanna get yourself in shape. It doesn't have to be to lose weight, it could be to tone up, it could be just to get fitter, to learn about your nutrition a bit more, 
and to stay on track rather than going to these slimming worlds and Weight Watchers and things like that where it's not sustainable. Yes, you hit your weight goal, but then what? Okay, so if you're really, really serious about losing weight or you know somebody who really wants to start their fitness journey, I'm starting it on the 4th of January. You'll get all these workouts, these ones live, included into your plan. You get nutritional advice and meal plans tailored to you specifically. Um, you get live Q and A's um, once a week and also one-on-ones with you guys. I want you guys to check in with me. So I'm gonna be personal to you and your needs and goals for six weeks to get you on the platform you need so then you don't need me hopefully after the six weeks and then you can progress and obviously lose weight or tone up whatever you wish. If it's strength training, if it's weight loss, whatever it is, please get in touch. It's only open to 10 people. I've already got four spaces taken up already. So you've got to act quick because once those 10 are full, that is it and I'm cutting it off, okay? So if you want more information, please get in touch with me and I can give you all the information you need and then we can go from there. Okay, let's do this cool down. So start off with a quad stretch. Heel up to your bum, pull it in nice and tight. Hold on, mum. Good work out today. Okay, switch sides. Oh, God, it's hot. Okay, so from there, I want your heel on the floor, leg out straight. Just lean your body weight into that straight leg. Okay, switch sides. So bend your other knee, keep the other leg straight, push your body weight forward. Awesome, right, down for the side lunge. All your weight onto one side. Okay, go all the way down to the floor this time. I want you to point your toes up to the ceiling. Now, if you're really flexible and can touch your toes, pull back on those toes, get that stretch. Okay, switch sides. Okay, down to the floor once more, point your toes up to the ceiling. Awesome stuff. Okay guys, from there we're into that lunge position, but I want the back knee on the floor for this one, and we're gonna rock forward and back for 10. The reason we do that is we're loosening up our glutes, and we're loosening up our hamstrings. So when we get to the 10th one, we're gonna lean as far forward as we can. In three, two, one. So touch the floor, lean forward, stretch out as far forward as you can. Leave the back knee on the floor. Why am I talking like that? Don't move. Three, two, one, and we switch sides. So same again, into that rocking motion, forward and back. Loosen your hip flexors up. Okay, four left. Three, two, one, and again, lean forward, touch the floor. Three, two, one. Now it's really important that when you come up, guys, that you stand up nice and slowly. Don't go dizzy when you come up. Stand up nice and slowly. Don't go dizzy like I've just done. Okay, from there, when your hand down the middle of your spine, push down on top of the elbow. Okay, switch sides. Awesome stuff, right? Let's have them hands locked out above your head. Lean your body weight over to one side. Let's switch. From there, bring those arms out in front, lean forward. Oh, 
arms behind. So this is the one where you retract your shoulder blades. Your shoulder blades go back, head up, chest up. Get that chest out. Okay, finish off, arm across your chest, pull it in nice and tight. Final time, switch it to the side. Fantastic work guys, you're all done. Awesome effort today for the you guys who literally couldn't be bothered to get out of bed but you managed to drag yourself out of bed, drag your gym gear, gym gear on and do a workout. You should feel so much better for doing that now. I know it's hard between Christmas and New Year. We all lack motivation. We're all still eating the sweets and chocolates and all the naughty stuff, but you're still getting a workout in. You're still moving your body. So again, if you want to change your mindset and your nutrition and your health for 2021, please do get in touch. Um, thank you for joining me today. I'll be back here again tomorrow for the final one of the week. It's the new HIT Cardio. I've not done it, you guys can join me uh, tomorrow at half nine for that one. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday guys, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, love you all, bye.